Hi everyone, my name is Bindu. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you a way to load data from Power BI to your SQL Server database. Uh, if you have the data set already created in your Power BI and you want to get that data set along with the data and put that in your SQL Server database, this is one of the best way. This is one of the easiest way. There are a lot of ways to load data into SQL Server database, which include integration services, uh, import and export wizard in SQL Server. And there are a lot of ways. And the way I'm showing you today is one of the way, which is easy. So without any delay, let's get started. When you are trying to load data from your Power BI file, you either get it from a, a CSV file or Excel or any other source, right? So what you do then is you just go to get data and get it from Excel or CSV or whatever file it is. And then once your data is in your Power BI report, you create the models and based on the uh, models, you create the data sets, right? So, and now you want to load this data set data to your SQL database, to your SQL Server database. So for that, what you can do is, you can simply open the DAX Studio. And in the DAX Studio, you can connect to your report. So the report I opened in Power BI is the financial sales report. The report that is opened will be the default report in DAX Studio. If you want, you can change this, okay? So uh, this is the report I want to connect to and I'm saying connect here. And once you connect to the report, the data sets, the data sets in the report, you'll, you'll be able to see in the left hand side here. So now what you do is you go to this advanced tab and you just say export data. And now you can export this to a CSV file or you can export this to SQL Server uh, database. I say SQL Server database here and give the server name. This is my SQL Server name and I will give the uh, database name as well. And the authentication I am using is Windows. So here I can uh, truncate the tables before inserting the data or I can just insert the data without truncating it. I just leave it that way and say next. And uh, I can choose which data set I want to export. To SQL Server. Uh, here I'm choosing both of them and I say and let me show you uh, the tables in this database just to make sure that they don't exist. I'm going to bikes to database and the tables here. See if you look here um, I we don't have calendar uh, and sheet one tables. So now um, I just want to export it. I'm clicking on export and that's all. Say close and go look in your database now. I'm refreshing the tables. I got calendar and sheet one tables. So this is one of the easiest ways to export your data, export your data sets from Power BI into, into your SQL Server database. I know this is a small tip, but it can come handy sometimes. That's all for today. Uh, see you in the next video. Until then, keep learning. Bye.